Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to crochet this summer blouse blue. It's very easy to make. I love the result. And here is the list of material you're going to need to make. To make this summer blouse, this is the yarn I'm going to use. Um, this is another type that you can use. This one is bamboo. I bought it from China. Each ball has 50 gram. You're going to need four and total 200 gram. And it's uh, fine too. And the color is blue. This one, if you don't can find bamboo, and you can find 100% uh, mercerized cotton, you can use that. This one is slide three, and each ball has 50 grams, so you can use this type. Oh, crystal yarn. That's for some countries that they don't have this type of yarn, they have crystal. Uh, the crochet hook is 4 millimeter. You're going to need tapestry needle, scissor, and measuring tape. We're going to do two panels like this one, two pieces, the front and the back. It's all done a crochet, very easy. It takes a little long to make each piece, but the result is amazing and that's because we're working with fine yarn that's why it takes a little bit longer and then I did here this for the top for the shoulder that way the color is not too high up but that top is optional so you have to make two of these I wanted to explain you that this stitch is multiple of six for mine I did 84 chain plus one because I did a border of six row of single crochet so that one was to turn my work around it was in total 85 chain that I did and each motif of this is six chain and then what I did for each border I did three and three on the other side that that's like making a motif of six so I have 13 of this motif plus the three and three on each side so if you want to make this smaller than mine you'll have to do less chain for example you will remove 12 chain of those 84 so 84 minus 12 and if you want it bigger you will add 12 that way you have even on each side of the piece okay so let's start casting our chain and this is very easy you'll see to start we're going to start with a slip knot and we're going to do 84 chain plus one Here I want to measure the piece, that way you know the measurement. And I measure 46 centimeters or 18 inches. Here I have 84 chain. Now I'm going to do one more for 85. And in the second chain from the hook, I'm going to do my first single crochet. Now I'm going to do one single crochet on each chain space. And in total I will have 84 single crochet you're gonna do six row of single crochet back and forth for that border and this border measure just in case you use different yarn one inch or two and a half centimeters so you can do the wider or thinner that strip there that border but for me, six row a single crochet. Here I have my 84 single crochet. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work around, and I'm going to start my second row. But I wanted to explain here for those beginners that they don't know when they turn around where to start with the first single crochet. Some people will go to the 
second little hole to do the first single crochet. So if you go there, you'll decrease one. So you have to go to the same space here in the beginning, and you do your single crochet, and that way you have one single crochet on top of the other single crochet, like that. You don't get any decrease in there. So you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way to the end, chain one, turn your work around, and do exactly the same as you did in here. And you're going to continue until you have six rows. So I'll meet you here when I finish my six. Here I finish with the border. Now to do the next row, we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to turn our work around. That counts as a first stitch. I'm going to do three of for the border here on the side. So we're going to do quadruple crochet. So you have to yarn over or wrap around. You yarn on the hook four times. One, two, three, and four. Here you have to pay attention because if you do one in the first little hole there, you will do an increase. So this one, the chain, count as the first one. So you go to the next one and you do your second and you go pass it through two, one, two, three, four, and five times. And you have your second stitch. Yarn over one, two, three, and four times. Go to the next space. And you're going to do one, two, three, Four and five. Now we're gonna do the cable. It's like a cable. So we're gonna wrap around your jar one, two, three, and four. And you're gonna count one, two, three, and in the number four, you're gonna do your quadruple crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, and four. Go to the next space. And you're gonna pass through two, one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, and four. Go to the next one. In one, two, three, four. And we did half of the stitch there. So you're going to yarn over one, two, three, and four. And here I'm going to put them together and place my finger right there. That way they don't come loose or undone. So through the top of these three, you're going to pass your finger through there and grab the first single crochet that you left behind without working. So you're going to go to that space. And in there you're going to do your quadruple crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you just cross the first one. So again, one, two, three, and four. Place your finger there. Them here, go to the second one, and you're gonna pass this one, two, three, and four, and one more five. Again, one, two, three, and four, and go to the last one. Make sure it's not the one that you already work on it. So you're gonna do your stitch. One, two, three, four, and five, and you finish your first cable. Like that. When you do the next row is when you start seeing the stitch because 
uh, like right now they're loose like that. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you one more time. Again, one, two, three, and four. You're gonna count one, two, three, and then the number four you're gonna do a quadruple. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, and four. Go to the next space. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, and four. Go to the next space. One, two, three, four, and five. And you did the half at the stitch again. So now we're going to work on this three that we left behind. So one, two, three, and four. And just gather them together and put your finger there and it will be easier. You will see how much easier it will make you work. So you're going to come here to the first one. And you're going to pass it through there. And you're going to pass it through two. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, and four. Go to the next space again. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, and four. Go to the next space and do the last one. This jar sometimes split. Let me do this one again. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four, and five. And like that, you finish the second. Now I'm going to show you one more time how to do it and from there you can take it all the way to the end. One more time. So one, two, three and four. One, two, three and the number four. Four and five. One, two, three and four. So go to the next one. half of the stitch again one two three and four now you've placed your finger there and you'll see it is much easier holding it right there so you come here grab the first one here and you do your stitch time you go to the last one here and do the same and like that you finish the third cable so you're gonna continue working like that all the way to the end at the end you will have three left and you're gonna do three straight stitches like this one you see I have three here 
and three here at the end straight so you're going to do that all the way and you're going to finish like that the first row of the cable here i wanted to show you that this first row it don't have any form it's a little weird but don't worry about it because as you work they will take shape it's like here that is uh, if you don't decrease or increase any stitches your work will be nice and straight on the side and the stitches will be evenly uh, apart here I'm gonna finish with my three one two three and four come to this first single crochet my first quadruple to the next one and the last And like that I finish the first row of the motif. Now I'm going to show you how to do the second. Now for the next row you're going to chain one, turn your work around and you're going to do a single crochet in each space and here you have to do a first one in, in that space there otherwise you will decrease. So you're going to do one single crochet in each, each space on the top like that and this is the wrong side of the piece it's a little bit different and this is the right side all is you work in the right side doing the motif and the wrong side doing a row of single crochet all the way to the end here at the end I wanted to show you how you're gonna finish your a single crochet because you don't want to be one single crochet short for the next row so a single crochet in top of each stitch from the row before so here you have to do one on top of that one and some people will leave it that just like that but then you're missing one single crochet you have to go on top of the chain and in the second chain you will do a single crochet like that see now you have you 84 uh, single crochet again for the next row you're going to chain again seven turn your work around and now if you look at your work you'll see that they start to take shape And as you work, they will look just like this. You see how nice? Now again, one, two, three, and four. Go to the next space and do your quadruple crochet. Again, the next one. And just like that, you have the three and top of the three from the row before. Now again, you're going to count one, two, three, and then number four. We're repeating again that first row that we did of the cable. It's exactly the same. Go to the next one. And the next one. Okay. 
again back here in the, in the first one. thing about this bamboo jar that get split all the time. That is nice and soft. And like that, I did my kill. So like that, you're going to continue working, doing your cable, crossing your cable all the way to the end. And then that's the right side. And in the wrong side, you will come back with your single crochet. And as you work, it will be just like this one, like that. And for mine, I did uh, a this crossing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 uh, are the crossing of the cable, and I don't count the row of single crochet. So when you have your 17, I will be back here, I will show you how we want to continue. Here I have my 17 row. Now I'm going to do 6 row of single crochet. Okay, this, this part here, 6 row of single crochet. And then after that, we're going to do this part for the shoulder. Okay? So you're going to do exactly the same amount a single crochet that you did in the bottom, you're going to do it in the top. For six rows. Here I finish my sixth row of single crochet. Now I'm gonna chain seven. Turn my work around. Wrap my yarn on the hook. One, two, three, and four times. And we're gonna do the quadruple crochet for 18 to 21 posts. The chain counts as the first one, and this one as the second one. So you're going to do it from 18 to 21. They have to be multiple of three. So, doing this, put it here, like that, like I did it, like that. Okay? No, it's like this, sorry. Like this. I did 18 for mine, but if you don't want these two open or wide in the front, you can do 21. And you're going to do a row of those 18 to 21. You will come back with a row of single crochet. Again, come back with a row of the 18 or 21 uh, quadruple crochet. And then a row of single crochet. And then you will do these loops. And this loop is the one that's going to connect the front part to the back part of the blouse. So, and then, so you start from the outside of this part. Until here, you have to start the next next shoulder from the inside to the outside. That way they have exactly the same. Um, they look exactly the same. Because this is the right side of the stitch and this is the wrong side. For me, because I did six rows of uh, single crochet, the wrong side of the stitch is in the right side here. But I like the way it look. They look really nice. So I'm going to do my 18, and then I will show you how to continue. Here I finish my 18. Now I'm going to chain one, turn my work around, do a row of single crochet, go back again, repeat a row like this one, go back again, a row of single crochet, and then I will do the loops on the top of the piece. Here I finish the last row of single crochet. Now I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four. And five 
turn my work around and you're going to count one, two, and in the third single crochet, you're going to do a single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. You're going to count one, two, and in the third one, again, a single crochet. And like that, you're going to continue until you get to the last one here. You finish with a single crochet, you're going to chain one, cut the yarn, and lose the tail. And then you will start working in the other side. To do the opposite side, what you're going to do is, and I start here, okay. we have to start here in the center. So you're going to count your 18 or 21, you're going to place your hook to mark the stitch. Uh, you're going to grab the yarn, you're going to do a slip knot. Once you do the slip knot, you're going to come here and start working with your 7 chain and do exactly the same as you did in the other side. And that will be the end of piece number 1. And then you start doing the your second piece, it's exactly the same. Except when it's time to do the loops, you'll be attaching the front to the back. Okay, so this is the front, and now or the back, I'm going to attach the other piece to this one. Now I'm going to finish the second part. So I'm going to do the loops, and instead to do five chains, I'm going to do two. One, two chain through my work around. Now I'm going to place this is the right side, and this is the right side. Right side at the, facing the right side. Wrong side, and wrong side in the outside. So I'm going to come here to the first loop, and I'm going to do a single crochet. And the single crochet will be like the third chain. You see, I have three. Now I have to do two more, and that will be the five that I did on the other side. So I'm going to count. One, two, and then the third, I do a single crochet. We're attaching and finish this one at the same time. So you're going to chain two, one, two, come here to this loop, and do a single crochet, chain two, one, and two, count one, two, and then the third one, you, you do your single crochet. Like that, you're going to continue all the way to the end. And you're attaching the shoulder just like that. So you're going to continue, finish this one, and do exactly the same on the other side. But when I'm going to finish the last loop here, I will show you how to finish that one. Here I did my single crochet in the last loop. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to come here to my last single crochet. Do a single crochet. And I'm going to chain one, cut the yarn, pull it, tie it up, and is to lose that tail, and then I will do the same on the other side. And once you finish attaching the shoulder part, now we're going to close the side and leave the opening for the arm. I always leave 18 centimeters for mine. I know 18 centimeters is the perfect size for me. So you can leave 19, 17, it depends on the size that you want or the size that you want to leave this open. Some people like a little more tight, some people like a little more loose. So for me it's 18. 18, 19, no more. So I measure 18 and 18 is exactly in this row of single crochet. So now you know if you don't have a measuring tape and you want to leave the same amount of me, you leave one, two, three row of the, the motif. So it will be in the one, two, and the third row of single crochet from the top down. So that will give me my 18 centimeters that I need for the arm. So now I'm going to sew here on the side, I'll show you how. To start sewing, what I'm going to do, I cut a piece of yarn long enough to sew all the way to the end. I put it in my uh, tapestry needle. So I had to do it here in the number three. It's this one here, and the number three is in this one here. So I'm gonna pass. I'm sewing in from the right side, okay? I'm gonna pass it through here for the row of single crochet. And at the end, I'm gonna do a knot 
leaving a tail, that way I can lose that tail. And that knot is to secure my yarn. You see? Now I pass my needle through there. And I secure my yarn there. Okay? It's nice and secure. And that tail I will lose later. So I will come here to this row of single crochet and I'm going to secure my yarn. Here I like it to pass a few times because remember this is under the arm and when you put the piece on and off this is where a little more pressure will be placed. So you secure this part here really well. I do it a couple of times. There we go. And now we're going to sew in a zigzag from one side to the other one. From this side here. To this one here. And you have to make sure that you uh, sew them evenly. That way when you get to the row of single crochet, they match from one side to the other one. You see, from this one to this one here. They will have to match. So you will do this all the way to the end and the same into the other side. When I finish mine, I will show you the end result. This is what I have left from the, my 4 ball of uh, 50 gram. So that's why I said you need 4 because you don't have that much left. So now we're going to put on the blouse to the mannequin and I will show you the end result. Well, here is the end result and I love this blouse. It's amazing the way I look. I look as if I'm being knitted, but it's all done a crochet. And in the back is exactly the same. Well, I hope you guys like it and give the thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you made the blouse and you want to send me some picture, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stedman. Have a beautiful day.